What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Miami Marlins versus Baltimore Orioles Major League Baseball matchup going down Thursday, July 25th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, head on over to PickDogs.com. Click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. While you're at PickDogs Premium, check out our Christmas in July special. It's the only sale that we offer every year at PickDogs Premium. You can get a heavily discounted rate on our yearly packages. Uh, you can use the promo code PICK at checkout for an additional 15% off of your purchase. But if you do hop on a yearly pass, you also get a year-long consensus report to match the duration of your yearly package. So it's definitely something that you want to make sure that you take advantage of. But let's get to this one. Between the Miami Marlins and the Baltimore Orioles, the Miami Marlins sending out Rodery Munoz for the start in this one, while the Orioles will counter with Corbin Burns. And we're looking at a heavy price here for the Orioles. But, you know, the thing is, is that Corbin Burns is always going to get this kind of respect, especially against, you know, a below average team like the Miami Marlins. Because, like I said, let's face it, you know, he's been one of the better pitchers in the American League this season. He is the staff ace of one of the better teams in the American League, one of the better teams in baseball for that matter. And the thing about, you know, Corbin Burns is that even against better than what he's up against here, Corbin Burns has been a quality start machine this season. I mean, there's been very few, very, very few spots where he's given up three or more runs in a start this season. I can tell you, you know, the majority of Corbin Burns starts, he's going at least uh, six innings. At least he's gone since April 26th. We've seen Burns go at least six innings in every one of the starts that he has made. A total of 15 starts over that stretch and a 2.27 ERA since late April so he has been very very consistent and now he gets a matchup here against a Miami Marlins team that has hit right-handed pitching better than they've hit lefties this season for sure however they are still struggling offensively and that's been the problem for the Miami Marlins going back a couple years now is that they've just been, had a hard time providing run support for their starting pitching Now I will say for Rodery Munoz Hasn't done himself any favors. I mean, Munoz, in 56 innings of work this season, has allowed 15 home runs. So we're looking at a home run almost every four innings. And it's just, like I said, it's just it's really not working for Rodery Munoz. Did have a good start against the New York Mets last time out. Five innings of one run ball. The problem is, the Marlins lost that game 1-0. Last time I checked, pretty hard to win baseball games when you're scoring zero runs. And... You know, more often than not, we're seeing Munoz give up four, six, seven runs in a start. And it's hard enough for some of the better teams in baseball to come back from a starter giving those kinds of numbers up. But especially the Miami Marlins, who are one of the worst teams in runs per game scored this season. And I just don't see that changing here against the Baltimore Orioles. Now, here's the problem is that, the, the, like I said, with the heavy price tag that comes along with the Orioles in this spot, you kind of got to pick your poison here. Do you go with the run line? I mean, some people are going to play the run line because... They don't care about laying runs and odds. You know, some people use it as a parlay piece. Some people use the minus 280 as a parlay piece. You can do that. I'm kind of going to kind of negate that just in case the, the bats were to show up maybe against the, the Orioles bullpen or throughout the game. You know, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the Orioles laying the one and a half runs for a side. But my better play here is going to be taking the Orioles team total over. I think this Orioles lineup just obliterates Munoz here. I think they wake up offensively. This has been a, one of the more consistent offenses for the better part of the season, especially against right-handed pitching home or away. And against a pitcher like Munoz, who's given up a lot of hard contact this season, at times has struggled with control, and especially has struggled with the home run ball. I think that the Orioles can put up some runs in bunches here. So give me the Orioles on the run line, but also give me the Orioles team total over, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. While you're pick dogs, check out our betting tools. They're 100% free. They're the best betting tools in the business and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.